Hi guys, this is Laura Sanchez and in this video I want to show you how to create this amazing skull makeup made with pearls and eyeshadows. So if you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. First thing I did was applying foundation to my whole face and blending it with a beauty blender. The foundation I'm using is from NYX Cosmetics and is the stay matte but not flat in the color beige. Then to add more coverage, I'm applying the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced and I'm putting it in the center of my face or the highest points of my face. And again, I'm gonna blend everything using my Beauty Blender with tapping motions. For contour, I'm using the Foundation Stick by NYX and I'm applying it on the places that I wanna contour on my face, but I'm applying a little more than usual because I wanna be more tan. If you have darker skin than me, this makeup is gonna look amazing on you. And once again, we blend everything, but for this I'm using a flat brush by Luxie. Then of course I set my makeup using powder just to get rid of the shine and to make my makeup last longer. We need highlighter now and I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca and I'm applying it on the highest points of my cheekbones. Also a tiny little bit on the bridge of my nose to make it look slimmer. And now let's move on to bronzer, but as you can see, I'm using hot pink eyeshadow for my bronzer. I just wanted to give my face more of a pink tone to make it look more fantasy-like. On my eyes, I just wanted to create like a very dark smoky eye. So the first thing I did was applying an orange color all over my eyelid to use as a base. Then I apply a dark brown on the outer corner and I started blending it inwards on my eyelids. Then I apply more of a reddish brown all over my crease and I started blending it with a big brush. And to end the smoky eye and make it darker, I just apply black eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eyes and under my bottom lash line. For the liner, I'm using a liquid liner by Tarte Cosmetics and I love this one because it's very thin and the point is very fine. Also, don't forget to apply mascara. I did two coats on each eye and I'm using Tarte Taste by Tarte. Now with a white pencil or something that is not gonna be so visible, we're just gonna paint or make like a guide for the sockets of our eyes that we're gonna create with the pearls. And inside the sockets, we're just gonna use a hot pink eyeshadow. And now to give it more shade and depth, we're just gonna use black and go around the edges of the socket. Now let's start with the pearls. And what I did was using the biggest pearls around my eyes. And in the parts that goes like closer to my nose, I use smaller pearls. The way I glue this is using basically eyelashes glue. Or you can also use liquid latex if you don't have eyelash glue. Going back to the face, we're just gonna make our cheekbones pop even more. And for that, I'm using a dark purple eyeshadow and I'm just creating this shade. And I also apply the purple eyeshadow around my lips just to create almost the shadow of the teeth and just to have a guide. And for the teeth, I did actually the same process as uh, the pearls around my eyes. I just used the medium pearls like on top of my lips to create the thickest part of my teeth. And then on top of them, I apply smaller pearls just to create like kind of the root of your teeth. Did the same process on my bottom lip, applying bigger pearls and then smaller pearls underneath them. On my forehead, I created another design just to decorate the skull. You can create as many designs or as different designs as you want. What you can do is just go online, search up for Katrina's or Mexican skulls and see kind of the design they have so you have an idea of what they usually do. And if you're not like a very symmetric person, you can just use the white pencil, create the design on your forehead first so you have like a guide and then add the pearls on top. I feel like I needed more depth around my teeth to make them look more like a skull. So what I did was using a smaller brush and the same black eyeshadow that I use around my eyes. And I went in the gaps between the teeth and I just created more shadow, more shading, more depth. I kept creating like more decoration for my skull and I went inside the eye socket, the fake eye socket, not inside my eyes, on my eyelids and I added some more pearls. I applied some small pearls and some tiny pearls just to give it a touch. And I apply some more pearls on my cheekbones, like under the eye sockets and also on top of the eye sockets to decorate more. And that's it, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video, also share it on your social media. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.